The Catawba Paper Mill opened in 1959 and began operating as a New Indy subsidiary in 2019. Located on the Catawba River, New Indy Catawba is a world-class integrated virgin liner board and market pulp manufacturing mill. New Indy Catawba produces a lightweight liner board used in corrugated packaging and an unbleached pulp for other paper applications using wood that is sustainably sourced exclusively from the southeastern United States. The facility previously manufactured bleached white paper, a product that was in steady decline for more than a decade. Hundreds of high-paying jobs were lost as a result. However, New Indy invested $700 million to acquire and convert the mill to produce liner board for packaging, a product in high demand. This conversion saved the facility and preserved hundreds of good-paying jobs. Today, New Indy Catawba supports the livelihoods of 420 hard-working men and women. During the conversion in 2020, all employees were kept on the payroll, even though the mill was not operating at capacity. The entire workforce was also kept on the job throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. The mill is a major driver of economic activity in the region, supporting hundreds of additional indirect jobs in logging, chemical, and material supply, and transportation. New Indy Catawba has an annual economic impact of more than $300 million. This includes $62 million in payroll and benefits, $100 million in operating costs, $115 million in expenditures for wood, and $6.5 million in taxes. New Indy Catawba also offers highly competitive wages. The satisfaction of our employees can be demonstrated by one simple fact. The average length of employee service is 18 years. My name is Dale Robinson. I am an environmental tester. I've worked here at New Indy Container Board for almost 35 years now. I was 25 when I started working here. I have enjoyed my time here and still enjoy. My name is Chandler Thomas. I am a process engineer group leader here at the mill. The biggest impact that New Indy has had on my family was just giving me the opportunity to come back home. My dad got his start in the paper industry. I wouldn't be here today if he hadn't started here. When I came here, I didn't know anyone, and I feel like they really welcomed me with open arms. I'm Chris White. I've been here 25 years. I sort of kind of extended my family here. You know, I consider all, everybody here, brothers and sisters. New Indy just recently transitioned into New Indy, but the personnel, everybody here stayed the same. I mean, we just changed names. We didn't change people. We got great leaders. We sort of elevated our culture a little bit. And um, I, I like the direction, you know, we headed. New Indy has, has definitely set us up to be successful in anything that we do, whether it's safety, environmental control, quality. Um, we have a lot of different routes that we can take upon learning a certain skill, um, whether it's leadership or if we want to go more towards the safety route, uh, taking up more safety courses or skills. New Indy really has set, not only has set us up, but has offered those opportunities to us. My name is Julio. I'm a pulp dryer specialist on the pulp dryer team here at New Indy. A lot of opportunities to offer to the young adults coming out of high school, coming out of college. We have York Technical College right down the road that offer a lot of certifications to come out here and work, whether it's welding, mechanical engineering. So I'm Rick Love. I'm in the HVAC department. Sometimes I work on e and electrical equipment. I believe New Indy does have a positive impact on the community. This mill has been here probably 61, 62 years. Uh, it's been a a mainstay for basically three counties, uh, York County, Lancaster County, and Chester County. And uh, it's provided a lot of people with a lot of good, honest, paying jobs. This has been a good job for my family. Uh, my wife was able to quit her job, uh, stay at home, raise two boys. My son actually started working here May of the year. I, I tell you, it's Sometimes it, it comes too quick. The opportunity to, um, to um, move to another level. So you get one to two years training on a job and then you can look forward to the next job. And, and it, I mean, it moves and it goes quickly. We have a, a quite a bit of people now that's, that's reaching retirement age. So the opportunity for employment is gonna rise here in the next few years. And it gives them an opportunity in this community to come and, and, and have a job where they can, they can raise their family with. When the mill returned to operation following the conversion, it did not perform as efficiently as had been hoped due to certain variables that temporarily overwhelmed the wastewater treatment system. 
The wastewater treatment system malfunctioned due to maintenance and other issues, some dating back many years. The malfunction at times resulted in odor problems experienced by nearby residents. Since then, New Indy has taken many significant actions to correct the situation and improve the facility. We removed surface solids from the Aeration Stabilization Basin, or ASB, and the Equalization Basin. That work continues. Removing the surface solids allowed New Indy to restart all the aerators in the ASB. We also treated the lagoon to increase the water's oxygen levels. All 52 aerators now operate 24 hours a day. We have also been monitoring the air at the mill's fence line and in the community since last spring. The steam stripper was put back into service, a new cover was installed on the post-aeration basin, and the mill brought another system online to neutralize odor emissions. Oxygen, hydrogen peroxide, and other chemicals have been added to the wastewater treatment system to further improve its operation and to minimize incidental odors. As you can see, New Indy Catawba has made significant updates and improvements that meet and, in many cases, exceed orders issued by state and federal regulators. We have invested significant time, money, and effort to make these improvements. The result has been, for many months, that those emissions from the facility have been below regulatory limits and industry standards. Remediation efforts have worked as well. Hydrogen sulfide readings at the fence line and in the community have been negligible or zero for many months. New Indy will continue to review its processes to further improve air quality and proactively address environmental concerns. For example, we have plans to install a black liquor containment system. New Indy is committed to being a responsible corporate citizen and to promoting economic vitality throughout the region. So to reassure the community, we post emissions reports and other updates on our website every day at newindycatawba.com. Thank you for being patient with us. We want to be a good neighbor and are working diligently to remain one.